All right, good morning, everyone. It is finally Friday. Do I, can I get a woo, woo? Woo! Woo! <laughs> I got a woo. <laughs> Couldn't even pull off a woo, woo. All right, it's all good. All right, but it is finally Friday. The bad, the good, and the ugly. The ugly is, of course, in the tropics. That's Matthew, the latest from the Hurricane Center. The number here, here, there, these are the Saffir Simpson scale for winds. Category two, not quite a major hurricane, but it will be. I think the Hurricane Center is woefully underplaying the intensity of what will be a very powerful hurricane, a very large one later on. But as we wake up on a Friday morning, it's all ground clutter, and that means clear skies and some cooler temperatures. If you live inland, west of I-95, this morning starting off in the 60s, as you can see back behind me, the weekend's looking pretty darn great until Sunday afternoon, but the Jags play early. Later in the day, the clouds will build up and the rains will start to build in on a mini nor'easter that rolls in here. This is not from Matthew, not directly, a little indirect. Rain, wind, coastal beach erosion, of course, heavy surf advisories, going to be some coastal flood watches, I would imagine. As again, a lot of low pressure around that will cause that to develop. All right, we'll have more on that as we get closer to next week. Of course, today we'll talk more about the weekend forecast with Richard.